trusting us throughout, throughout the year of one of our most challenging times. We thank you for the parents and the guardians you've given us. Thank you for their discipline, their leadership, and guidance. Without them, none of us would be where we are. As we prepare to walk across the stage, receive our diplomas, and go our separate ways in life, I ask that you cover us, continue to guide us, Fill our hearts with the purpose and passion to help mankind. Today, we also pray for tomorrow. This graduation opens another door to another time. As you have led us in the past, we ask that you lead us into the future. We ask that you give us focus and clarity and a calling from you to understand their purpose and the courage to respond and step forward in that purpose. Amen. Amen. I ask, I ask that you please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the playing of the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
It's literally learning. It's a smart kid who stayed up way too late studying, drinking enough coffee to kill a camel, and missed so many parties that everyone thought they were hurting to just see it stay in place. <laughs> a very visual person indeed. Second place is the first loser. However, no one here is a loser. Considering that by the end of this evening, we will all cross the stage and close the chapter in our lives to be the next. I want to thank my teachers for the outpouring of love and guidance over the years. Each and every one of you made an impact on my life, and I cannot express my overwhelming gratitude to you with words. Thank you to Mr. Hart, my soccer coach, for believing me as a freshman to demonstrate my true abilities as a soccer player and to be on the play and to be a player on the 2019 state championship team. I'm thankful for the soccer skills you taught me for the over the years, but I'm most thankful for the life skills you taught me. To my parents, I would not be where I'm here, where I would not be where I am here today without you. Population, we have added to our friend groups and sent Bulldogs out into other parts of the world. Getting to know each and every one of you has been such a rewarding experience, and I'm forever grateful for the impact you each had on me. As I sat down to write this speech, a flow of memories came rushing in my mind, along with the frightening reality that soon I walked the halls of Dixon for the last time. Within the flood of memories, I remembered a time capsule our class created when we were merely six or seven years old. Within the time capsule, we were given a common question I'm sure all of you have been asked. What do you want to be when you grow up? This question always excited me as I knew kids who want to be soccer players, doctors, and even the president. As we grew up, this question regarding the future turned stressful due to the pressure to know what your life plan was going to be at the age of 17. The question, what do you want to be, ingrains us with the idea that what we do and accomplish defines our worth. Throughout high school, my own identity and confidence were invested in what I achieved. My focus was on what I could be the president of, the captain of, or how, or how high of a grade I could earn. Reflecting on my own experience at Dixon, the most important and joyful parts were not the grades or titles that I chased. My favorite memories are the seemingly simple moments I got to have with my classmates. When I think about Dixon, I think of pep rallies, spirit week, sports events, helping out the community, senior nights, and meaningful conversations in the school parking lot. Most of all, I think about the incredible people I got the chance to meet and form bonds with. Looking back with this perspective, I challenge all of us to reevaluate that question. What do you want to be when you grow up? And instead, ask, who do you want to be when you grow up? With the substitution of one word, the question takes on an entirely new meaning. It frames our future around oneself instead of allowing it to be defined by what one achieves. It reminds us that who we are is not set in stone by the genetics or past actions. Who you are is a decision that you get to make, and it's the only thing you have control over. 
You are the driver of your bus. As Kerry Washington said, you and you alone are the only person who can live the life that writes the story you were meant to tell. So when you consider what qualities are important in making you happy with your identity, ask yourself if your actions reflect those values. If you want to be caring, are you taking time to help others? If you want to be closer with God, are you praying to Him? If you want to be happy, are you taking care of yourself? Actions such as these will allow you to create your own identity and will form how you are remembered. Now we are at a crossroads in our lives where we begin to make big decisions regarding our future. Many of us are going on to further education, enlisting in the military, attending a trade school, or starting a business. In any of these environments, it is easy to get lost in what we do or how much money we make or what we achieve. So ask the graduates here today, who do you want to be when you grow up? Whoever you decide to be, I pray that each of your experiences illuminate what it's like to truly live rather than just be alive. Put your future in the hands of the Lord as Psalms 34, 14 states, you are my God, my future is in your hands. God bless this class of 2023 and God bless America. Now I'd like to introduce our guest speaker, Mr. Ed Sean Edwards, to the podium to address the class of 2023. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to your graduation. Graduates, from me to you, I'm very proud of all of you and I just want you to know that. Friends, family, faculty, staff, join me in congratulating these scholars on this milestone of graduating from high school. <laughs> this road that you are on is traveled by all who enter the doors of a school at about five years old. Here you are, about 12, 13 years later, having accomplished the goal that you set when you were just about four feet tall. Some of you have grown over those years, and when you hit puberty, your parents started to see that you were indeed getting older, and with getting older, that you would mean, that it would mean one day that you would be here. One day you would be leaving their nest. One day all the lessons they taught you will be put to the test, and they would see what stuck, and what you were going to learn about the hard way. Right now, I would like to applaud all those who have helped you to get you to this point in life your family, friends, previous teachers, religious leaders, coaches, and all others who came along with you for this ride. Graduates, if you can see them in the crowd, or if you just want to envision them in your mind because you could, they could not be here today, join me in celebrating those who woke you up in the mornings, made you breakfast, stayed up late with you on assignments, drove you to school, picked you up from practice, helped you fill out college applications and scholarships, told you it was going to be all right when you had that breakup, and helped you realize that school was the most important thing going on. Help me to celebrate them for a few seconds with some applause. Here at Dixon High School, some of you played sports, joined clubs, and even ran for student government. I hope you had a fun experience in whatever you did here because sadly, it's all over now. For the national champion cheerleaders we have in the crowd, cherish those memories. For the goals you scored in sports and the bonds you made on your teams, remember those times and relish your nose when you feel like the world is closing in on you. We have among us a valedictorian, a salutatorian, a prom king and queen, a team captain, students who earn scholarships for higher education, a club president, maybe even the mascot, We also have best friends, girlfriends, boyfriends, and the person who sat in class with you, but you still don't know their name. Around you, you have your favorite teacher. They teach you or gave you a hard time because they saw potential in you. 
They teach you who had hope uh, that you didn't see again in the future because their class was too hard. You have staff members that will always be in your corner. And for that, make sure you don't forget to reach back to us if you ever need anything in the future. We have been here for you all these years, and that will not change. Graduates, take a few seconds to look around for your favorite teacher and give them a round of applause for planting some seeds in you that will grow and bloom in the future. Now for some words of wisdom. I read a quote not too long ago that said, if you can't stop thinking about it, don't stop working for it. I think that can be applied to anything that you have set before you as a goal in life. In life, you should have goals all the time. Short-term goals from about now to six months in the future. Mid-term goals that are about six months until about a year and a half from now. And long-term goals that are beyond that, up to a year to three to five years in the future. So let's see, within about six months, a lot of you have left the ferry and have started your life, and you won't see about 80 to 90% of us again, ever. When life starts, it can start fast. When I was in your seat many years ago, I graduated that morning, went to a celebration that afternoon, and that night at 11.30, my recruiter had a van at my house ready for me to go to boot camp for the next 13 weeks. At this time, any graduates who have or will be enlisting to go into our uh, to go to join our military and serve our country, would you please stand so we can recognize you? <laughs> Proud of you all. My goal was to become a Marine, and I couldn't stop thinking about how it would feel to walk across the parade deck and earn that title. After those 13 weeks, learning so much about the Marine Corps and getting into peak physical shape, I started my career. I couldn't have told you that in the beginning I would retire after 20 years, but my goals kept me going. I couldn't stop thinking about the next rank or the next duty station, so I kept working for it. Then about seven years in, somebody asked me about my future, and I just knew that I wanted to be a Marine, not a teacher. So I had set a new goal after I was challenged to take one college course. When I took that challenge, I was reminded of a teacher I had in high school who had told me that I needed to be in someone's college because I had the potential to be successful there. While here at Dixon, some of you were challenged by a teacher with some similar words. I know math three was hard for a lot of you, but you survived. I know English three was difficult for those of you who were in my class, but we got through it together. I know you had fun in gym class, but that's it, it's gym class. You're all on the same playing field right now. You all have the same level of education, but some of you have already separated yourself from your peers and gained experiences that you are going to use on your resumes that are going to help you look better in your future careers. That's how life is going to be. You will work for the majority of your adult life until you retire. But until you do, you will be padding your resumes and getting experience to help you get to a goal that you will set sometime in the future. So be ready. Prepare for those goals so when the opportunity comes, you can approach it with confidence. Be careful how you spend your time and money. Did you know that a Big Mac meal is about $9? But the national minimum wage is $7.25. So a meal at McDonald's is worth more than an hour at a job that some of you will work at. Be very careful how you spend your time and your money. I'm sure that you've already heard that the real world is not all good. But there are a lot of situations out there that you can get into that will make life hard for you. There are also situations that you will put yourself in that will make life difficult. Taking a full load of classes in college will be tough, but you will have to push through it. You will have to push through when you experience a loss and still have to function at your job or around others. Last year I had to experience that firsthand and my family experienced a tremendous tragedy with the passing of my 22 year old son. Cancer was something that I heard of and seen other people around me go through but I never thought we would have to take him to chemotherapy or weigh the decision of having a tumor removed from his chest. But all of that happened in my lifetime. I'm still pushing through. And if my family can deal with the loss of our son and brother, when life throws situations at you, use your resources and push through until that situation gets to a point where you can continue to function with the responsibilities in your life. Let me tell you a quick story. There's a mother and a daughter who are going on a hike. And the daughter got a little bit ahead of her mother, and she reached the summit of a trail. It's a beautiful sight. Trees, birds flying, mountains in the distance, and a cool breeze. 
So the daughter let out a little yelp of, a compliment, of a accomplishment and said, Woo! Then she said, Hello? She heard. Then she said, Who are you? Why are you mocking me? You're stupid. You're awful. Ah! That moment, her mom came up and to look at the scenery and asked her daughter what she was doing. She said someone was being mean to her and mocking her whenever she said something aloud. So the mom tested it and she said, hello? And then she said to her daughter, listen to this. She yelled, you're awesome. You're amazing. You can do this. Woo! Yeah. She then explained to her daughter that the that what she was hearing back was her echo, and whatever she said will be repeated back to her. This echo is for all of us in life. We all have self-talk that drives us, drives the decisions that we make when the things get a little tough. What do you say to yourself when you feel like the world is closing in on you? Do you say what the daughter says or what the mother said? Are you stupid or are you awesome? We all need to build affirmations and positive self-talk within ourselves to push us through those times that we will inevitably face in life. Now for some words of encouragement. Use your resources. People who tell you things like, if you ever need anything in the future, just ask. Those people are usually solid, and, they sh and you should utilize that if you ever need them. Don't be afraid to change your plans if something isn't working. Red flags are real. So don't be afraid to exit before things get too rough. But don't break up with them tonight and tell them Coach Edwards says so. Always strive to be the best version of yourself that you can be. Only you know what that looks like. My best, my best version of myself is 30 pounds lighter. He works out about 45 times a week and doesn't eat ice cream before bed. And drinks a lot of water throughout the day. He also stays abreast of what is new in his profession and shares all he can with his peers. He makes a pr uh, family his priority and listens when there is one on one time with him or a family meeting. What, best, uh, what does the best version of you look like? Always strive for that. And lastly, if you don't take anything else from this speech, remember that your self-talk will guide you through life. Make it positive. Congratulations again, graduates, and enjoy the rest of your momentous evening. Next, our senior chorus members will now take the stage to sing the Dixon High School alma mater.
Good evening. Family, friends, distinguished guests, and 2023 graduates of Dixon High School. Let me echo the sentiment of your parents, teachers, family members, and friends, and tell you on behalf of Dixon High School how incredibly proud we are of your accomplishments. Through obstacles, hurricanes, pandemics, virtual school days, school changes, y'all left this middle school up here and went to your middle school down in the new middle school, teacher changes, principal changes, life changes, you all overcame. Sometimes you survived, sometimes you thrived, but however you made it, you graduated, you arrived at graduation. We all made it to the same graduation ceremony from different backgrounds, different support systems, different families, and we are celebrating this one important moment together. High school graduation is a rite of passage. It's the ending of high school, the end of the routine from 7 to 2.15. Go to class, do your schoolwork, listen to your teacher, do what your teacher says. It marks the beginning of your own designed life. We are here celebrating and saluting graduates together today. But tomorrow, we are going different directions. Graduation is a fleeting moment whose significance isn't realized until it's passed. Next week, some of us will be off to boot camp or are already starting coursework at the university of our choice. Tomorrow looks different for everyone, but today we are here together and we celebrate this last together with all of our friends and fellow graduates. Please know that your kindness, your smiling faces, your leadership at Dixon High School will be missed next school year. As you leave us, I want you to know two important things that I didn't really learn until my own children graduated. I was that parent that told my kids, you have to win, you have to compete, you have to be better than who you're playing against. There is a metaphor out there called a rat race, where two rats are in a maze and they are competing against one piece of cheese. I'm here to tell you today that with age and wisdom and going through some things, the rat race is a lie. My first piece of advice to you, to our graduates today is, don't compare yourselves to everyone else. Walk out your own path with excellence. You are uniquely gifted to walk the path in front of you. Your path is just as important as the only you are qualified and gifted to fulfill your own unique, important life. My second piece of advice is that there is room for you to be amazing. There is room, there's more than one piece of cheese at the end of your race. There is room for you to shine. There is room for you to have an impact. There is room for you to serve others and lead others and work with others and love others. As a parent, I often anxiously considered this for my own children until I realized there is room for my children to walk out their lives. There is room for you to be great. One of my favorite all-time movies, and you may laugh at this, was Elf, and Buddy was simple, but he was wise. And one of his rules was this, there is room for everybody on the nice list. And there is indeed room for everybody on the nice list. There's room for everybody to shine and be amazing and do the right thing. All the questions that you have, what will I do? How will I get there? Where should I go? These questions will take care of themselves. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. You plan and you work hard where you're at today. And don't compare yourself to everyone else. Apply yourself in the path that is laid out for you and doors will open. 
We are extremely excited for this day. I hope everyone is thankful and they are happy and they are excited about where they are and equally, equally excited about where they are going. Every day at Dixon High School, you are reminded of a saying by Ms. Hardy on our school announcements. One last time for good measure, I want you to hear the words of the energy bus. You are the driver of your bus. You can drive that bus wherever you want, but don't drive your bus into a ditch. You have been a part of the Dixon Bulldog family where the slogan is to love, serve, and care. You've heard this over and over. If you apply yourself and practice that love, serve, care mantra that you have been a part of, you will find great success. Dixon High School Class of 2023, we do salute you. We honor you. We celebrate you. When your teachers and your parents and, and the people that love you pour into you, you have a little piece of us all. You represent the best of what we can give you. We are proud of where you are. We are proud of where you are going. We look forward to hearing your great story for years to come. We are thankful to be here celebrating the completion of your high school career. And I'm going to ask all of our audience today if you will help me in giving all of our graduates a big round of applause. to the most important part of the ceremony, the presentation of candidates. I'm, I'm going to call up our senior class president who will be announcing candidates and give him his diploma first, Jack Austin Davis. Bouget. 
Gavin Michael Bo. Ronald Matthew Bowman. Megan Emily Bridges. Michael Adam Brienza. Lawson Chase Brinson. Xander Taylor Britt. Quinte Dale Bromley Jr. Cameron Ray Broussard. Taylor Memory Bird. Maddox Thomas Kale. Nathan Miles Camp. Noah Neil Cannon. Annalise Rochelle Caps. Casey Lynn Carlson. Shane Francis Carroll. Kenley Blair Castine. Gabrielle Annalise Castillo. Georgia Forrest Atkins. Julian Serto. Brooke Ann Chamberlain. Dylan Akira Chambers. Desiree Marie Shampoo. Karina Marie Chupa. Zienna Jayla Danasia Centron. Samantha Elizabeth Coffin. Christian Craig Cole. Justin Tyler Kahn. Madeline Abigail Copeland. Brianna Hope Couch. Michaela Lee Grooms. Carson Kelly Dahl. Caden Stephen Dahl. Rachel Lynn Daly. Alexis Marie Daniels. Ethan Brian Davis. Angelina Ray Elion. Austin Joseph Dennis. Mia Elizabeth Dietz. Sean Vincent Disbennett. Matthew Brian Dremel. Logan Michael Drummond. Sarah Faith Duggar. Kayla Marie Dunn. Talia Caroline Irvin. Taryn Daniel Elliott. Yeah. 
Lucas Glenn Eschler. Benjamin Gregory Eubanks. Brendan Ryan Everett. Angel May Faribault. Brooke Lynn Feliciano. Brianna Rose Fell. Kylie Jade Fellows. Joseph Brian Fisher. William Christopher Fleming. Kennedy Joe Fleshman. Hunter Ford. Dylan Cole Foster. Hope Nicole Fountain. Deshaun Robert Lee Fuller, Jr. Owen Nicholas Funk. Isaac Aiden Garcia. Suhata Samara Gaston. Natalia Victoria Giametta. Kyle Matthew Galetta. Isis Jolie Gotti. Cody Alexis Gonzalez. Javier Angel Gonzalez. Ethan Edward Gooden. Amanda Jolene Greenlaw. Luke Brinson Gregory. Braden Paul Grooms. Anthony Alberto Guerra. Brian Garrett Gura. Kaya Joanna Gwynn. Garrett Isaac Hale. Emily Hall. Alexis Anita Hankins. Lauren Grace Hatcher. Lindsay Marlana Hill. Jada K. Hiller. Aaliyah Lorraine Hines. Jamari Keyshawn Hinton. Madison Elizabeth Holcomb. Chloe Elise Holiday. Zoe Desiree Holtz. Caden Devon Humphrey. Messiah James.
Jasmine Marie Janeway. Katie Larray Johnson. Michaela Marie Johnson. Michaela Rose Marie Jones. Cyrus Cobain Joseph Jocelyn. Hallie Jane Keldor. Peyton William Kyler. Cora Latier. Sean Michael Lewis, Jr. Skylar Lucas. Troy Lucas. Charles Ross Mann. Kaylin Adriana Mann. Mason James Murata. Nia Shell Martin. Jessica Sarah Martino. Ethan James Mason. Rebecca Grace McCord. James Ward McCoy. Adelaide Christine McGeorge. Lucia Maria McWilliams. Caleb Bryce Mercer. Mia Alessandra Mercer. Ariana Renee Miller. Naomi Lucille Millis. Dylan Paul Minervini. Mary Talia Mitchell. Ian Murray. Luke Allen Ray Nave. Haley Michelle Napier. Natalie Faith Neighbors. Matthew Stephen Nichols. Mason Ross Knoll. Eric Orozco Diaz. Elizabeth Ortiz Hidalgo. Lizette Guadalupe Ortiz Hidalgo. Skylar Renee Ottaway. Joseph Michael Pelosi. Kendall Lee Pappenfuse. Noah Dale Perry. Tyrell Jamal Perry. Ashlyn Jewel Pippen. Lorenzo Artemis Powers. 
Kaylee Christine Pravel. <laughs> Naomi Ray Pfeiffer. <laughs> Ceciliana Christina Rendazzo. <laughs> Alfred James Records. <laughs> Kalis Alexis Reeves. Kylie Shannon Reeves. Jonathan Alexander Rentis. Chura Elizabeth Reynolds. Brianna Keeley Ribble. Bradley Allen Rehart II. Taylor May Robinson. Kelsey Grace Rochelle. Jason Nathaniel Rochester. David Joseph Rogers. Nicholas Imes Rogers. Mariana Amorina Paloma Root. Morgan Ember Roth. Caleb Alexander Royal. Ethan Amonsek Saplong. Lauren McKenzie Sapp. Paris Marie Sewells. Bryce Livingston Scambler. Weston Gordon Scambler. Tania Chanel. Scarborough. Shailen Brooke Scott. Sarah Miles Scribner. Jaquise Xavion Sharpless. Matthew Zabayan Shepard. Paul David Shepherd, Elizabeth Lynn Sherwood, Connor Michael Shoulders, Chloe Renee Senor, Caleb Eric Smith. Summer Bree Smith. Braley Sarah Sorensen. Kalani Michelle Stafford. Madison K. Sosavad. James Carrington Sides. Ashlyn Page Taylor. Devin Michael Taylor. Dieter Eric Taylor. Shiori Teresa Taylor. Cherish Mackenzie Teal. Dakota Austin Tennant. 
Olivia Ann Terry. Elizabeth Alexandra Eula Thomas. Hunter Andrew Tobin. Christian Gabriel Tony. Braden Christopher Tozer. Faith Susan Trinfalia. Melanie Guadalupe Trejo Martinez. Abayo Damani Trudell. Brian Austin Tothero. Randy Marie Vargas. Emma Shay Vincent. Taylor Dakota Vines. Faith Madison Wade. Caitlin Marie Watkins. Jacob Tyler Watson. Britton Michaela Wyler. Emma Rose Weisinger. Hayden Gray Whitaker. Dylan Michael White. Lila Jolene Wilkinson. Juliana Berlin Williams. Emma Ann Winkle. Henry Francis Woods the Fourth. Grizon Urbai Yamagachi. Jacob Scott Young. Alexis Brooke Youngblood. I'd like to invite up our valedictorian, Madison Holcomb. Good evening. Esteemed faculty, honored guests, and fellow graduates of the Dixon High School class of 2023, we made it. Today, as we stand on the threshold of our future, I want to take a moment to reflect on the incredible journey we have embarked upon together. Four years of laughter, tears, friendships, and growth have brought us to this moment. We have faced countless challenges, both inside and outside the classroom, and yet here we are, ready to step into the unknown with our heads held high. As we look ahead, it's important to recognize that each of us will be taking different paths after high school. Whether we pursue higher education at colleges or universities, choose trade school, enter the workforce directly, or maybe even take a gap year to explore our passions and discover our true calling. What truly matters is that we follow our hearts and we don't forget that our taxes are due every year in April. No matter the path we choose, I believe that the future holds endless possibilities for each and every one of us. It may feel daunting at times stepping into the uncharted territory of adulthood, but remember that we have been preparing for this moment all of our lives. During our time here, we've gained so much more than textbooks and assignments. We've learned the art of sneaking snacks into class, 
how, how to sneak your phone when the teacher isn't looking, and how to survive in three hours of sleep. We've picked up knowledge, skills, and experiences that sometimes happen during school, and other times, well, maybe when we were supposed to be somewhere else. But those unexpected adventures have taught us invaluable lessons that will serve as our compass as we navigate the crazy roller coaster of life. The possibilities are endless, and as we step into the unknown, let's remember that who we become matters far more than what we become. While the road ahead may not always be smooth, I urge each of you to embrace the unknown with open hearts and open minds. Just like Mac Miller once said, people change and things go wrong, but just remember life goes on. It is through embracing the challenges of life and learning from failures that we grow as individuals. Don't be afraid to take risks, to step out of your comfort zone, and to pursue your passions with persistent dedication. But also take time to laugh at yourself, because life can be a comedy show sometimes. Success isn't measured by fancy titles or impressive achievements. It's about finding happiness, making a positive impact, and staying true to yourself. Each of us has the power to leave our mark on this world, no matter how big or small. As we bid farewell to Dixon High School, let's hold on to the friendship we've formed and the memories we've created. They've shaped us into the amazing individuals that we are today. So go out there in class of 2023 and embrace the adventure that awaits. We've got the skills, the laughter, and the determination to conquer anything that comes our way. Congratulations, my fellow graduates. Our future is here, and it's going to be an epic ride. Bulldogs. When we lined up today, our tassels were on the right side of our caps. In just a moment, we will move our tassels to the left to mark the end of our time together here at Dixon and the beginning of our next chapter. Graduates of the class of 2023, please stand.